why would you get your seven-year-old a phone? What's up fam? Today is Sadie's appointment to get spayed and chipped. So I'm taking her right now. It's super early before we even get the kids ready for school. I need to drop her off because it's like an all day thing. So let's go, uh, let's go drop her off. Can you tell it's crazy sock day today? Yeah. You guys look crazy. Let's go to school. <laughs> What's up fam? We have a lot to do today. I just finished editing my, well not just finished, like I'm at Costco obviously. I just finished editing my video for today and as you can see, oh wait he disappeared. Chris was standing right there. But we've got a bunch of like not fun errands to run and then a couple fun errands to run and then some fun things to do today. So I need to get started because it's also a minimum day at the kids school and if we want to do all the things that we need to get done we need to go now. So first stop grocery shopping, Costco. Look at how adorable her outfit is today, all the way down to the shoes. Yeah, what's on her head? <laughs> Shut up. This is the bow that I forgot at the pumpkin patch. I don't know if you guys remember. At some point, the bow came off, and it did not make it here. And I'm so sad right now. When we went to the pumpkin patch, and we had a bow crisis, well, I found it. And you wanna know where it was? In my diaper bag. And it was probably there the whole time. The bag you said you checked. The bag that I checked thoroughly. And it was in one little pocket that I don't know why I would have put it there. And I don't know that it was there for sure the whole time, but I'm pretty sure because I haven't seen it until I found it. And I'm so sad. Ready to do some shopping, girl? Well, so much for that. I wasn't trying to show what we put in her cart, but her cart's already full and we just started. She started doing this everywhere we go. She wants to get out of the cart. Hey. Adeline Jade, sit down. It's getting so hard to go places with her, like restaurants or shopping or anything like that because she just wants to get down. I know, you have such a tough life, I know. Oh, nice. She loves this bear. Oh, never mind. Not right now, I don't. Let's go home. Okay, okay. I just want to take it down to the And I'm going to take it to me to the office. Yeah. You? Yeah, me. Oh, yeah, I won. I won. What'd you win? Um, a ticket. Oh, my gosh. You're so lucky. Office, office. Yeah. Mommy, yeah. how did you win it? I don't know. I know. This is the sucky part about twins. Guess what? Guess what? It just said, Katie. Whoa. It did? On the on the loudspeaker? Yeah. Oh my goodness. That's so yeah, cool. What? I'm going to go to office. Can we? Yeah, we're going to go to office right now. Yay! Maybe yeah. you'll win sometime too. It's just all chance, baby. Katie got caught on the announcement. Did you hear him too? Yeah. Yeah, he picked and it up. He didn't roll. <laughs> Are you happy for him? You are so sweet, Lilia. Tyson's not not doing so well with it. Do you know why you won that? Why? Because they have it's red red ribbon week at their school, and so they had to sign this like pledge saying, "I pledge allegiance to myself and who I want to be. I can make my dreams come true if I believe in me. I pledge to stay in school and learn the things I need to know to make the world a better place for kids like me to grow. I promise to keep my dreams alive and be all that I can be. I know I can, and that's because I pledge to stay alcohol, tobacco, and drug free." Caden, he signed his own name. And then I signed it and you turned it in. And all the kids do this, they all have to do it. And they pick like two names out of every grade that win like a prize or whatever. And his name just happened to get called today. Mr. Kyson yeah. over here is having a hard time about it. I know that it's tough to see someone else win something that you want. Just because you don't win something doesn't mean that you have to be upset about it. You need to be a good sport and you need to be happy for your brother that he won something. 
Look at Lilia. Lilia didn't win anything. Lilia didn't happened. win anything either, and she's not upset. I know that it's tough because you wanted to get that thing too, but you know what? Look at me. Your entire life, things like this are gonna happen. People are gonna win things that you wanted to win. Things things are not always gonna go your way, okay? And you, Santi. Did you hear what Caden said? What did he just tell you? Um, um, uh, maybe today if you if you say if if you could buy champagne or something because I know I have a little to be sad. So you're gonna share what you have, yep. Kaden. That is no, so. No, I, I mean I'm gonna buy everything. I'm gonna buy everybody a toy. Everybody a toy. Come here. That is so nice of you. So nice of you. Sometimes you will be the person that wins something like that. How would you feel if Kaden was crying if you got something really cool that was exciting for you? How would you feel about that? Would you be happy if Kaden was crying? No. No. So don't cry. Be excited for him. And on top of that, Kaden said that he's willing to share something with you. He said he's gonna buy something for me. Yeah, everybody. So it's okay. Give him a hug. Okay, we're not gonna be upset anymore. We're back home now, obviously. The house is kind of calmed down. I think Kyson was just like super tired I don't know he's always he's always kind of emotional after school so he, they're all good now he just needs a little pep talk and they're outside playing and I just got a call from the vet and Hi, this is Brianna. I'm calling in regards to Sadie we just finished with her stay she's doing just fine she's in recovery uh, she'll be ready to go home at 3 45 if that works for you if it doesn't give me a call back thank you well that's good. Sounds like everything went well. Oh, she's saying hi. 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 Mm -hmm. girl. Hi. Look at her hair. It's all crazy. Hi, baby. Dad's going to go get Sadie. When Sadie gets home, she just went through surgery, okay? So you guys cannot play with her. And you cannot touch her until she's all the way healed. She's got owies on her tummy. We'll show you guys when she gets here, okay? But you cannot touch her. Yeah, poor thing, huh? Wow. Because she had to have surgery at the vet. Okay, so look at me. Promise me that you guys are going to help keep her safe, okay? How'd they say she's doing? She's doing good. Good? She's just out of it. Poor baby. She woke up in a weird place. Hey. Sadie. She's going to be loopy, they said. Oh, her belly's all shaved. Don't worry. She's not sitting in the front seat driving. Right? <laughs> yeah. I just wanted to come up here so I could talk to her. Because she doesn't know. Nobody knows. Actually, you guys probably know now. Why we're here... I've been thinking about something for a long time. <laughs> and I think that you are responsible because in order for you to do what I am allowing you to do, you I have to know that you're mature enough to not lose something, to know how to work it, and to know how to use it responsibly. Okay, do you know what those mean? You know what all that means? Do you think that you're ready to have your own phone? Yes! <laughs> so, we have decided to get our seven year old a phone, and that comes with limitations. Kate, this is what you have to understand. Are you ready to listen? You have to understand this is not going to be a phone like mommy's. Okay. Okay. This is going to be a watch that you wear around your wrist. Oh my daddy has one of those. So oh yeah, like an Apple Watch kind of. It's gonna be a watch that you wear around your around your wrist, and you're going to be allowed to call only the 10 contacts that I have programmed into that watch. So that's gonna be me, your dad, your stepdad, Amber, Mimi, maybe a couple other people that we'll talk about. Okay. What about Gigi? Yeah, maybe Gigi. You will only be using this in times where you will need it. For example, when I dropped you off for the play, this is what I've been thinking. I know this sounds crazy, like why would you get your seven year old a phone? And we've thought a lot about it. And like I said, this is gonna be, it's not, it's technically a phone, but it's a phone that has very limited, it's not for games, it's not for 
internet it's not something like that it's strictly calling people and messaging me and it's a gps tracker so that i can know where she's at and that she's where she needs to be and the reason why we decided to get her this is because i feel she's very mature for her age and i think she can handle the responsibility and there's been places as she's getting older there's been more and more times where i've not worried i guess necessarily but thought to myself i really wish i could like know that she's okay she goes to dance by herself well not goes to dance by herself but she stays at dance class by herself as much as i would love to be with her all the time that's just not practical she has extracurricular activities that she does like this play that you were in and dance class and she goes to her dad's house where her dad of course would call me but it's just nice to have something where i can know that if she needs to get a hold of me she can and it really occurred to me this past weekend when she was in the play she was with her brothers this whole time and they were accounted for but it wasn't like school you know where they're like okay let's count to make sure everybody's here <laughs> it wasn't something like where they had to like count heads and like make sure everybody was there and like they had breaks and stuff that I wish I could have just like called her and been like hey like is everything okay or she could call me if she needed anything I don't feel like I really need to explain myself but I feel very confident in this decision and I think that she is ready so you want to go inside and get one yeah okay look at there's the time and it's all princessy yeah how do you feel big girl good Look at that. Okay, come here. The exact thing that this is, is if you guys are curious, and no, I'm not sponsored. Um, this is the Gizmo Gadget through Verizon. And basically, you add it onto your plan. It's an extra $5 a month, which is like nothing for, you know, your kid's safety. It's a watch. They can only call the 10 contacts that you have registered into their phone. So I'm going to register like whoever she's allowed to call. And then she has her own phone number, but only the 10 contacts that she's allowed to call are also allowed to call her. So if some random person were to call this number on a phone that is like not registered, then it would not go through. She picked her wallpaper, which looks like this. It's just like a little princess theme on there. So to call me, you go into here. You push this call button right here, and it'll come up. Oh, Lily is calling me. <laughs> oh, it's all in the car too. Hello? Hi, Mom. Hi, Lily. Are you done at dance? Yes. <gasps> I love it. Thank you so much, Mommy. <laughs> I love you. Go get in your seat. We've got places to go, people to see, pumpkins to pick, and fun to have. And since you've been gone, there's no peace of mind. A foolish heart and healing thought I would find. No matter where I lay my head, another time I'm not the bed. being out. I just want to go home and eat dinner and go to sleep. But we promised Kaden that he could come use his Target gift card here. So here we are. It's literally bedtime in like 30 minutes and oh go ahead. While we're here Lily is picking out. She's been saving all of her Tooth Fairy money and birthday money and everything she has. She's got $50 saved up. And she's looking for something to pick out. Kaden what did you pick? Monster trucks, of course. How much did you give her? 45. 45. How much did it cost, do you remember? 43. So she's gonna give you. 
There you go, darling. You get that one, one you received. And also your change change, so you can add that to your little pile, right? There you go. So That's what, you got. what do you tell her? You're so Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> we just got back from the pumpkin patch. She seems pretty uh, normal, but it is time for her pain medicine. So I need to do that before the end of the night. Yeah, she just needs love right now. So I'm gonna try and give her some of her pain medicine just to keep her comfortable. I don't know what this tastes like for her, but she seems to be taking it pretty well. That was all of it, she took all of it. That was very, very good, I'm proud of her. Good girl, Sadie, good girl. No, not funny. you but Chris is already sleeping and this video is already like so long I just know it is so make sure you ask me some questions down below for next week and I will talk to you guys on Monday for our next video good night